I'm making a video about how to use Revive to run Oculus games with the um, Valve, Valve Index. And, um, and uh, yeah, first you download it from the GitHub. I'll uh, put a link in the description. Um, I first tried this pre-release version, but there were some issues that didn't work very well. Uh, but it worked much better when I switched to uh, the release version 1.6.4. Um, and what you do is you just download the installer and install it. And uh, if you install it to the default folder, it will um, go into pro program files, uh, revive. Um, and uh, that's important to know because we need this revive injector to be able to run most of the the Oculus games. It might work if you just... Uh, I mean, the whole revive is designed for people who didn't really have the Rift, so they expected that you would reinstall all of the... all of Oculus, all of the apps and everything, but I already had a lot of them already installed. Um, so that... so they didn't get added, added to this uh, revive. Um, app where they where it would show up. It only shows up some of them, and after I moved some of the games, it began show, some of them began showing up in the app. Um, but I found another solution instead to just add them manually to Steam, um, and that uh, that is what I have done with these. And I uh, added some custom uh, images for them. Um, we can see here that this is a sun, uh, a shortcut. So I have uh, chosen an icon from it uh, for it from the from the game, and uh, and I just picked this uh, injector. Uh, my Windows is a forty six mega uh, forty six bit Windows, so uh, I'm running I'm running the forty six version. Otherwise, uh, the eighty six is is for thirty two bit version of the Windows. Mm. So once you have selected this and you click open, it will be here where you can then click set the start parameters. And this needs to uh, to link the game's exe file and with uh, these marks around it. Uh, because uh, that's in case there is a, a space in the link to this file. Uh, usually there's not any spaces to these uh, game files for Oculus games. I think maybe Oculus doesn't work if there is a space in it, because uh, usually there's always spaces in these links, um, but Oculus seems to have avoided it. But either way, uh, it's solvable by having these around it. Um, and um, yeah, it's important that it's included in the VR library because otherwise it wouldn't show up as a VR game. And then when I click play, it would open the game if you also have uh, revive open because you need um, you need to have uh, the revive dashboard to run, um, and you I have it there because I made a shortcut. I just found it. After I installed it and uh, and then made a shortcut for it um, by control dragging it to the desktop, or you can always just run it from the start menu if you want. Um, but so far so good. Um, that was you'd add the games to to it, um, but then how to find the files you need to to add. Uh, to, for that shortcut, um, we can try adding budget cuts. I haven't added this yet. Uh, so I go into details and it uh, shows this. And if I click this location link it has, it will uh, cover this location to, um, to the clipboard. So I open File Explorer, uh, copy paste this link because it copied it by clicking there. And now we're in the body. Cuts folder. Um, it's a Unity player, uh, so that means, uh, and also because it has this managed folder and it has a streaming assets folder, that's uh, usually something 
Unity games has and these shared assets. Uh, so that makes it okay to just use this exe file. Um, to make it easier to get the link we need, uh, you can just make a shortcut temporarily. Um, so create shortcut, right click the shortcut, click its properties, and the destination here is the one we need. Um, just like I have in this. So uh, yeah, this shows how you run revive uh, injector and then the file to run the game and uh, and I've made it as a bat file which uh, which you can run and it would run the game but now we need uh, this which is uh, the budget cuts it uh, executable and um, in steam you would uh, uh, use this to add a non steam game to my library and then click uh, look and uh, you now have to find revive uh, and the revive folder and 64 bit then we apply this and now we have to find it and here we have it and then and you can change the icons and such but uh, now it's the correct exe file and we need to copy paste the link here for running the game and then we can include uh, it in the VR library and since the game was uh, budget cuts we will now call it budget cuts and choose an icon now we need to find the games folder uh, and yeah it was on my C drive mm. wait yeah Oculus, uh, software, software, and budget cuts. There we go. Use this file, and now it has the correct icon. This uh, might be deselected every time you make a change, so that's a bit annoying. Um, and uh, that also means we might have to change the name again. Um, yeah, and then we close it and it have saved this. So now it won't find it when we search for revive. So we'll go back and uh, search for budget cuts. And I have made a category for this revive. You can just uh, click here if you want to add a category. Um, and also I have a VR category. Um, but the last thing is to set appropriate picture and I have uh, just grabbed some screenshots from from here where I just uh, used this uh, clipping tool and uh, simply just clip this a bit better than that and uh, click the save and it would go into this folder and I uh, saved it as a PNG uh, you could also save it as a JP JPEG it, um, might make for better performance uh, of Steam a bit, but shouldn't really matter much on most computers. Um, but yeah, so uh, now I go to this uh, folder with the images. Um, and since it's a PNG, we have to change it here. And uh, budget cuts. So now, oh wait, there, there we go. And then uh, it has selected this photo, so we can now just click set photo. And um, and now we have a new link that can run through Revive.
and uh, that actually works very well I think um, I can try running revive but it doesn't work very well since um, the, the dashboard uh, since we don't have steam we are running uh, but it still remembers the games that it has, has uh, seen being installed um, but it's rather limited because when you look at my my actual my actual Loculus library is way bigger than that. Uh, although a lot of these are actually just Steam VR games that are linked there. Um, so yeah, point is that this is not a very good way of of running the games um, all the time. Uh, a lot of them might be missing, um, and this way you get to have them in Steam. And uh, since I set that category for it. I can find it here, and we have body cuts on the list now here as well. Um, and as long as uh, revive is uh, is running, it should pop up with a message saying now revive is uh, is installed. Um, it will uh, it will do that after you have begun running VR and Steam VR, and uh, have you might need to run one of these, uh, for example, the first contact demo. It's a Pretty nice to see how well that works with the, the Valve Index. Um, and then you can... And once you have run that, you should be able to... Uh, if that works, you should be able to, to run all of these games as well. Otherwise, they might have trouble finding the controllers and such if, if it hasn't installed Revive uh, correctly. Um, but next up is um, how to... Also use this trick to actually help making it possible to play Skyrim VR with the index. Um, I use Mod Manager to to manage the mods for Skyrim, but it also has a, a game launcher. Um, so. I have made a special launch here called uh, Revive SKT. I use the SKSE mod, um, otherwise you can just run the regular Skyrim VR exe file if you don't use SKS key. Um, so the shortcut here is... Uh, here you have the difference. This is how it would usually look. Uh, it just runs this binary that I have placed in the Skyrim VR folder for this uh, loader file. Um, if you just run the game regularly it should be this exe file and it's uh, in the Steam Apps folder and so on. Um, but for Revive it's the same as, the, as we did in Steam. It uh, needs to run the injector first and then, one of, and then the argument needs to be SKSE or the Skyrim VR exe file. Um, I thought it uh, might make sense to um, to use Open Composite, which helps run Steam apps as uh, as Oculus apps. But now Skyrim has uh, has support for the for the Rift, so it doesn't need that. But that also enables this uh, solution for for the problem with the running Skyrim VR with the Valve Index, because if you run it this way. Um, it will run the game, although it's a Steam VR game, it will run it as an Oculus game, and uh, and it will detect the uh, index controllers as as uh, touch controllers, and they are very similar in the, the design, so so you won't really notice much of a difference. Uh, but the problem is that the way the game is designed, it links um, some of the controls directly to to the Vive controllers, and not just to specific buttons uh, apparently, but um, but in a deep way that uh, that you can't get around with the regular input system for for Steam we are that uh, that wealth recently added to Steam um, where you could uh, I'll try to show it if I can.
for some reason I have an issue where I have to take the USB cable, uh, plug it out and plug it back in uh, before it will see my my valve index. Um, but um, how do I show this? I don't actually think I can show it without the uh, without running in VR. But for some reason, my video won't run when I'm in VR. But uh, you can run and and overlay set up and um, and then in in the steam overlay it will yeah display some key binding options and so on but that's not enough for this so so running it as a, as an oculus app will solve this and uh, and you'll get access to all the controls and uh, you can play it with the mods and everything as um, as with other controllers I'm pretty sure it's one of the few games where it actually has this issue have, have this issue uh, not being able to uh, to uh, use the play the games probably because they don't support the, the index controllers um, but if there is such an issue they usually have rift support and then you could use revive it seems to to run the game and, and fix that problem um, I hope you found this video interesting um, I know it helped me a lot. Now um, I got all the Oculus games in my Steam library, and um, and they seem to work very well. I haven't, I have yet to find a game that doesn't run. Uh, but I have heard that uh, that some of the new Oculus games, like uh, Waiter Immortal and um, and Journey of the Gods, doesn't run very well with with Revive. But uh, that has happened before with other uh, with other Oculus games uh, and and the developer of Revive usually fixes it with, within a few weeks, so so they'll probably work as well pretty soon. Um, oh, and I guess a last thing to mention is that um, when it, when the game is a uh, is an Unreal Engine game. Uh, there's a binary file in this uh, in the game folder, which here is the in depth folder. But then you have a subfolder called binaries, Win64, and uh, a Windows 64 bit still being ex executable. And that is the file you need to run uh, because the other file uh, it won't work and, and won't run. Um, and uh, that seems to be the case for all Unreal Engine VR games. Um, so take note of that. Well, I hope you found this useful. Um, may you have a nice day. Bye again.